Hello and welcome to this Dr. Frost Maths video on determining the exact distance from a velocity time graph or a speed time graph. So we've got this speed time graph here and it's some pigeon who's kind of travelling along and we can see over time the pigeon is gradually getting faster and faster and now he's going to kind of constant speed and then the pigeon is gradually slowing down until he's not moving. And we want to find that the distance that the pigeon has travelled up until the six second mark. Now, I've got this handy chart here which summarises how we can find acceleration and distance and such from different types of graph. So we've got a speed or velocity time graph here and we want to find the distance. So all we need to do is find the area under the graph to get the distance travelled. So we just need to find the area of this shape here. Now there's two ways we can do it. We could either split it up like this into a rectangle and two triangles or we could actually just find the area of this trapezium because look we've got a pair of parallel sides so it's just trapezium. So let's do it that way. So do you remember that the area of trapezium is just the average of the parallel sides and remember to find the average of two values we just add them and divide by two times by the distance between them. So if we apply it to this shape here, these are our two parallel sides. So what is that length there? Well, it's just one second. So we're going to do one plus what is the length of the other parallel side? Well, that's six. And to find the average of those two values, you add them, divide by two, and then you just times it by the distance between those two parallel sides, which is that distance there, so the height. And we can see that height is five. So we just times by five, and if we do that on the calculator, we get 17.5. And the unit is going to be metres. So it's going to be consistent with this, because that's in metres per second, and that's in seconds. So the distance will be in metres, as indicated by that unit there. So it's 17.5 metres. And because this graph uses straight lines, that will be the exact value. We're not estimating the value here. That actually is the distance travelled. But as I said, what we could have done is we could have split this into simpler shapes like a rectangle and two triangles and found the area of those three shapes and add them together. But it's slightly more direct to find the area of the trapezium instead.